Here's how to use Flashcard Factory within the Pear Deck for student vocabulary words. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to PearDeck.com right here and then make sure that you sign in with your teacher login and your Google account. Once you have signed in with your login account, go to Flashcard Factory right here on the very first page. So what teachers are going to need is just a term. I'm going to be focusing on some Greek vocabulary words. So I'm going to start with the word atlas. And you can do this a couple of different ways. You can go ahead and just use the word and have students come up with the definitions. You can use a term and use your own definitions. Or you can go here to definitions and search for the definitions that come up. But another thing you can do, go to import. And what this allows you to do is keep a list of words that you can just go ahead and copy and paste into here. So I have a list of words here on a Google Doc and it has the word separated by a tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of these, go back to Pear Deck and go ahead and paste those right in here. We're going to see that there's a list preview on the bottom. Now the reason I wanted to use my own definitions is because I wanted the full definition as well as the Greek god or goddess that this word came from. So once that's all set, I'm gonna import my list. Now Flashcard Factory does all the rest. We're going to go here to play flashcard factory up here in the top corner and this is where the actual fun begins now you're going to notice a screen that says joinpd.com you're going to want students to go to this link in a new tab and put in this code i'm going to switch screens really quick because i have a different account that i'm going to go ahead and put that code in right here and this is what the student screen is going to look like until the teacher launches it. So let's wait for a couple more people to get in here real quick. And I'm going to go to clock in. Now on this screen, it's going to make partnerships. When they log in with their Google accounts, it's going to partner them up. So this is where I have students move around the room and work next to their partners. That's kind of important. If you don't like how it auto generates some teams, the teacher can go ahead and shuffle teams right here but I am happy with these, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Let's Play. So now this is the teacher screen that you're gonna have up on the board that all of the students are going to see, but what's really important is what is on the student devices themselves. So I'm gonna change my screen to show you what that's going to look like. In the partnerships, one student is going to have a draw ability here, and it's going to have the word. So students are gonna to have to draw the example of this word. The other student, here is going to have the same word but you're going to notice it's an orange screen and this is going to be writing an example of the word so i'm going to go ahead and fill those in really quick on the drawing screen students have not a huge amount of options here for the colors but they have some different colors they have an eraser a line tool and text that they can use so i'm just going to pause real quick to draw this picture here is the picture of atlas holding up the earth and then here's the picture of a book of maps and over here, the student who did the written example, and when this student says, I'm done writing, you're gonna notice that those two different student accounts morphed into one flashcard. If they both are happy with how this flashcard looks, they, the student select looks good, ship it. Now students have a new word, and the student who was previously writing can draw and the student who in the partnership had previously been drawing will write and they continue to do this until all of the words are done. Here on the teacher screen, when students go ahead and submit their flashcards, they're going to see them drop on this screen and move along the conveyor belt. Once the students have finished all of the different terms, you can move on to the next phase of Flashcard Factory, which is quality control. In quality control, you can have conversations with all of the students if the definitions or examples match the pictures and if they want those to move on to the next stage of Flashcard Factory. If you agree that this is a good example, you can use the green check mark. If you think that this was not the student's best work, you can put on the red X. You continue to do this for all of the different options here on 
flashcard factory until you have completed all of the different terms. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes to all of these terms so we can move on to the next phase. Now, once they've done all of that, it goes on to this stage, which is shipping. When it is in shipping on Flashcard Factory, you have a couple of different options. You can go here and go to print the set. And that is going to look like this. You can save it as a PDF or actually print them where there will be two different sides to each of those words. Or another really fun thing you can do is export this to GimKit. I'm gonna go ahead and name this. Now GimKit is a little bit different because this is actually the teacher link. So I'm gonna click on the teacher link and that's gonna open it into GimKit on a new tab. GimKit does have free and paid for versions, but here are all of the different flashcards that have the drawing and the definition or example. And to make them work, you're going to want to make a copy of it to put it into your set of cards that you keep, or you can go ahead and automatically hit play live. In the free version, it rotates through, I believe, about four or five different games that you can play, um, and then they rotate out through these bottom ones where you can pay for it. Once you've selected the game that you want to play and it continue, you can set up some different parameters for those games. And when you hit continue, it's going to open up a live game. Now students can go to this link and put in this code right here. Student screen, I'll just go ahead and put that in. Join. You are going to have to tell your students to pick their name and then they're going to join. On the teacher screen, you're going to see the students pop up. And once all of them are in, you're going to go to start game. And this is what the teacher screen is going to look like. But on the student screen, they can use arrows to run around. Students in this particular game can shoot snowballs at each other. But on most of the game kit games, they go here and they can answer questions to get points or move up levels. And what's great is it has the definitions that they came up with or examples, as well as their images here. If they get them correct, they can earn different levels or different points depending on which game you're playing within GimKit. And that is all for Flashcard Factory. So I hope you give it a try with your classroom.